Hey you guys, Peacemaker here. Your makeup videos. Um, starting with one called Are You Hungry Yet? So let me flip you around. Here is your screenshot ability. I know there's a lot on this page. So it should have been for Friday. Um, I've, I'm behind like five I think now instead of four. Sorry I'm behind. But there you go. You're just going to get the references and I want you to go look it up for yourselves. The first use of hunger is in Exodus 16, 13, where they are <clears throat> complaining against God that he brought them out from the wilderness, in the, from Egypt to die in the wilderness. So hunger, hunger can rule you and make you lose perspective, even of what you know to be the truth. John 17, 14 to 17. Uh, I had some bad perspective loss in the last three years after the pandemic and all that crap. Um, I had some really bad perspective loss to where I wasn't even trusting God anymore. And uh, God graciously walked me back to faith and to, to a, a sound and an abiding faith, not just a trembling faith. <clears throat> Pray does the same for any who need it. Oh yeah, there's also been a ton of spiritual warfare and things um, like being pulled over and all sorts of crap that's been happening lately to me. And that's another reason why I haven't, I messed up and I haven't had, uh, I haven't had the ability to get all these out, but I'm sorry, I'm getting them out now. Uh, come to your senses like the Luke 15, 17 prodigal son. You know, if you're hungry for something, you'll get it filled. Right, And he wakes up to his senses and he says, Hey, I, why do I perish with hunger? What am I doing? I need to go back to my, my father. He, at least his servants can eat, right? Matthew 5, 6 says you can, you can be filled. So that's where Jesus says, Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be filled. Anyway, guys, probably one of the, probably one of the shortest ones I've ever done. Wow, I was like right up in your face. <laughs> Jesus bless you. Make his face shine upon you. Bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance and give you peace.